All right. Hi. If you're new here, my name is Ben Schubert, and I am a full-time filmmaker. Today, we are going to look at and unbox a piece of gear that I am very, very happy about. It is the Zhiyun Crane 2. Uh, yeah, so this is a three axis gimbal. Full disclosure, I've actually had this thing for several months now, but I also have the box, so I thought I'd just put it back in the box and do a quick unboxing, just so I can recycle this box. So in the box, we have a strap for the case. We have some padding styrofoam, all right. We have some sort of plastic bag, this box. Been holding onto it for months. I don't need it anymore, so it's gonna go into the recycling. All right. So here it is. So this is the case of the Zhiyun. I find this case is really awesome. It's pretty rugged. It's not like, I mean, it's clearly not a Pelican case, but it's pretty handy to have something like this. It helps keep me organized. And then let's open this thing up. <gasps> wow, stuff. Okay, so first of all, there is a lovely manual. This, okay, so again, because I've had this thing for a while, I kind of had a bunch of things in the box that I hadn't looked at. But upon opening the box, I realized there's this anti-slip grip tape, which is a delightful shade of pink, which I really like. And you know what? I think I'm gonna put this on, because I think that'd be really awesome. A, because I find like carrying this thing, it can feel a little slippery at times, but also I think that pink touch would be be a little fun. Comes with the battery charger. It has three little batteries which are already in the gimbal and actually they're not little. They look, they look like big double A batteries. You know at the same time they have a longer lifespan and they're bigger so they actually carry a charge for quite a while. And let's take this out. Ooh. So I find that it comes with these little, I don't know, these little foam pieces. I'm sure they're expected to be discarded, but I just hold on to these things. I love having these things hold, hold it in place in transit. Um, I'm sure I'll lose them at some point and that'll be fine. Now, one of the reasons I chose this system because it comes with uh, this Manfrotto like, well, it's not like an official Manfrotto plate. There's been times where I've forgotten this plate, but I have the other plate on my camera for my tri my Manfrotto tripod, and it works, you know, it works the same. I can get it done. This is obviously designed for this. It works better. The spacing, like you'll notice that it's a lot longer. And because of that, you have more room to move for the balance. And also it actually has measurements. And what's really great about that is that you can actually mark your measurements for when you're balancing and you can just like go right up to you know where it normally is. I generally know what positions work for the balance so I always go back to those uh, spaces and having these measurements really helps me you know get precise and help speed things up. So here it is. The main thing the gimbal. I think the best way to talk about this is actually to set it up with its base. Now it comes with this little tripod feet with a quarter 20 mount. And then inside there's actually, I can't, I can't remember the measurement of this, but you know, this is the essentially the little screw for uh, hooking up camera gear. And inside here is the bigger one. So if you have a more sturdy setup to use, you can, you do have access to that. So you just screw that on there. I find that when I'm shooting with this setup, I actually leave the feet on the whole time, right? So when I'm shooting, I'll take the feet down and then I've got an extra place for a hand. And then for when I'm not shooting to keep myself from getting tired, I'll set that up and put it down. And I put it down as much as possible in order to, you know, save arm strength. And so I'm not getting exhausted doing this so that I can shoot for a lot longer. The main reason I got this gimbal was it could handle a heavy load. I shoot with Canon cameras with full frame glass and that, you know, has a lot of weight to it, right? I think my camera setup is about a couple pounds. 
The thing to keep in mind about gimbals is that you actually want the payload capacity to be double the weight of your actual camera system, right? So my camera system at the heaviest gets to about three pounds and then this can take about seven and a half. And because it has that leeway, that means you're not overworking the motors. That allows your motors to stay more sensitive, more responsive, and to have more nuance to their movement. Because otherwise, when you overwork the motors, you know, things go slow, it doesn't respond as fast, and you're really not gonna get the kind of shots that you're really looking for. So having a setup that has the power to handle your setup without problems is going to keep it very reliable. So one of the reasons I chose this gimbal was because of this little dial here. Because this little dial allows me to plug in a cable from this port here into my camera. Right? I shoot on a 5D Mark III, it doesn't have autofocus, so having a little dial here to do my focusing is actually really handy for when I'm on the gimbal because obviously you don't want to actually touch your lens because that'll mess with the balance. So being able to adjust that here is really handy. And also being able to control your focus and shoot in, you know, shoot a manual style is really helpful. Although one thing of note, uh, when you're shooting with this, even though it's your, you know, controlling it manually, you need your lens set to autofocus. I found that if your lens is set to manual focus and you're trying to do this, it's all over the place and there's no subtlety to the actual movements. But if you have it on autofocus, it works a lot better. It's still not, it's still not as good as actually, you know, like uh, racking focus with the lens, but it's better than nothing. So I guess the only other thing to talk about that this comes with is there's this little case for cables. And so you can hold your charging cables in here uh, as well as your connector cables for connecting to your camera so that you can do rack focus. All right, so that my friends is the Crane 2. Thanks for checking it out. Um, if you wanna see more videos about filmmaking and filmmaking gear and also just weird things that I'm doing on the side. Uh, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I will see you in the next one.